Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about The Flash, Season 6, Episode 7, the first part of the mid-season finale, so that's coming very, very soon. Also, we've got some new Crisis stuff we have to talk about. They released a bunch of new photos, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you are new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so first things first, we're going to talk about the Crisis stuff because that's catching up. And also, we're going to talk about the new Flash trailer for part one of the mid-season finale. But let's talk about Crisis first. So these photos are from hour two of the crossover, so that's the Batwoman episode. So the first photo is at the Kemp farm. I'm not sure what version of the Kemp farm, but we got Lois and Clark, like our normal versions of them, with Iris. And Clark is in a suit, Lois is in some normal clothes, and Iris is in normal clothes. So I'm not sure why he's wearing a suit, but... It actually reveals in the next photo, yeah, this is not their farm. This is actually a different Earth where there is a different version of Superman or Clark Kent on the Smallville farm, that being Tom Welling. This is our first look at Tom Welling in the crossover. So he is the Smallville version of Clark Kent slash Superman. He's not going to be in much of the crossover, but he's going to be in this bit. He's going to be in it for at least a little bit. You know, I think he only shot a few scenes, so it's not going to be anything too big. But this is our first look at him. So it's sort of like a parallel to when we saw Clark last season, you know, in the Elseworlds crossover, where we saw Tyler Hoechlin on the Smallville farm, sort of like a parallel to that. Then we move on. So this is, again, on another Earth. I'm not sure where it is specifically, but we have a new version of Clark Kent. This is played by Brandon Ralph. You know, Superman Returns, obviously he plays the Atom, so it's a doppelganger of Ray Palmer, basically. So, he's sort of in his Clark Kent get up, he's, you know, at the Daily Planet, because you can see the Daily Planet's there. It's been attacked, apparently, apparently numerous fatalities in a news office gas attack, so it's framed for some reason, maybe he figured it out or something. And, so then we get our first, like, proper HD look at... Brandon Ralph's Kingdom Come Superman, so he's going to be, you know, in a decent chunk of the crossover as far as I know, and so his suit looks awesome, he looks awesome in this photo. Then we move on to the next photo, we've got this, this is my favourite one, he's just, you know, kneeling down in the Superman pose and he looks forward, and man, does this look freaking cool, like, this is exactly what you want Superman to be like. And I just can't wait to see Brandon back as Superman. Although I'm not the biggest fan of Superman Returns, I don't particularly like it that much. I'm just super excited for him to be Superman, play a different version of himself. Okay, because this is a Batwoman episode, we've got a normal photo. It looks like this is in the Batcave. And we have... I'm not sure if it's actually our Batcave or not. Or if it's the other Batcave with the person we'll talk about in a second. But yeah. Moving on to the next photo, we've got our first look at Bruce Wayne slash Batman in the crossover, played by Kevin Conroy. So I do believe that Batwoman's probably in his Batcave at this point, you know, wherever he is from. Unless he is actually the real version of Bruce Wayne that is, you know, Batwoman's version. However, I think he's either in the future or he's on another Earth, probably more likely than not. He's wearing some sort of armor, so this may lead you to believe that this could be him, you know, unsuiting from being Batman, maybe he's wearing sort of like a Batman return suit, sort of very chunky and everything like that, but anyway, so amazing to see Kevin Conroy, who is the animated voice of Batman normally, like he looks like a Bruce Wayne as well, like an older version of Bruce Wayne, so I think that's really, really great, can't wait to see him in live action. Okay, so we got another photo of Brandon Ralph Superman at the same place, the Daily Planet things behind. So he's done a switcheroo and he's not Clark Kent anymore. He has switched into being Superman, it seems like, at the exact same time. And this seems to be like a confrontation between the two Supermen who we have, who is Tyler Hoechlin's version and Brandon Ralph's version. You can see Tyler's version right here. It seems like they're in the same place. Additionally, at the same place, we've got Iris and Lois working together, it seems like. And so, I think that's the Book of Destiny, like, I could be wrong about that, but it kind of looks like, you know, the one we saw in Elseworlds. But they're in the same room, and the final photo to go over is another photo of Lois and Iris. So it seems like they're sharing a lot of screen time, which is very, very exciting to me. Okay, so let's move on to talk about the Flash trailer for next week. 
So this is episode 7, the first part of the mid-season finale, because it's a two-part episode, The Last Temptation of Barry Allen, part 1. Okay, so the first shot of the trailer, we've got Barry and he is sobbing. Like, Grant is doing a great job in this trailer, like, full-on emotions, like, coming out of him in every single shot that we see. And so, over this, Ramsey says, you look scared, and he goes, you should be, it is the end of the world. And so then it cuts to a shot of the red skies of Crisis. So this is Ramsey getting into Barry's head and to actually, you know, root out the fears within inside of himself. Because remember, he feeds on fear and obviously he needs to kill them to, you know, use the power. But he's killed so many people that I don't think it's such a big deal. I think he's just manipulating Barry to feed on his fear, essentially. So, yeah, you've got that red sky in the air we got another shot of ramsey this is him actually saying it and then barry from in front you get to see sort of him and his reaction to something happening in the sky and there is a very bright light on him so he is seeing some shit and i think it could be you know what he's seeing out the window okay so we move on we got barry lying on the ground he's got like a a glass that has fallen over and he seems to be knocked out so you know, this is after Ramsey's confrontation, maybe he's completely got into him. We know that he's going to be taken over by Ramsey at one point and become like a negative version of the Flash, really. Sort of similar to the comic book storyline, but, you know, obviously they're doing with Ramsey instead of the negative Speed Force. And so, then we move on to the next shot, and we got Barry, and he's back at his childhood room, which is really, really creepy, must I say. So, basically, Ramsey has been manipulating him to place him in these different places that he remembers to control him so we got a closer shot of him in the bed he's you know got a spaceship sort of duvet and we have Nora Allen returning so she's actually with inside his head trying to help him maybe she's a manifestation of the speed force I'm not sure but more likely than not it's just like a version of her inside Barry's head trying to help him because you know this is going to, in the end, be inside his head because Ramsey is manipulating him. And so she says he wants to take control of you, basically. I'm paraphrasing right there. But Barry, in reply, says there's a way to save the world and still survive. And he's saying this in reply to Ramsey, it seems like, but they may have cut around that. And Ramsey, in reply, says all you have to do is choose life. So then we cut to the next shot and the next shot is inside Star Labs and he's seeing the newspaper article. It seems like it's actually changed to December 10th so it's you know changing every now and again and it seems like it's changing once again but this is once again inside his mind so it's not actually going to specifically happen on that date you know because this is Ramsey manipulating him. So you got the shot Barry's completely you know shocked at what he's seeing he's you know going crazy essentially is what Ramsey's doing to him then we have Ramsey here same time you know he appears this time so you can definitely tell that this is him messing with his head then we got this really blue saturated shot where you see Barry completely full of anger and he looks like he's about to kill someone so is he actually gonna kill blood work in the end you know after this and all this manipulation that we're seeing in this trailer I think that could be a possibility to be honest so we have blood work he's in what looks like maybe Nora like it's like a version of Nora because it's the sign of excess in like a future version he's like got into Barry's head and he's showing Barry what he could do and you know maybe the consequences of Nora actually maybe being killed by crisis or something like that but it seems like that is baby Nora so yeah kind of shady stuff right there man okay we have Barry and Iris is changing the deadline, like sort of date that she's publishing it. So December 11th, we've obviously got a new photo of Barry as the Flash. And so it's Flash missing, vanishes in crisis, but it's December 11th and this is Iris writing it. So maybe she's preparing for it and, you know, she's got the date wrong or something. But yeah, you get Iris's reaction. Apparently this is going to be like a pretty heavy Iris episode as well. So that's going to be going on along the sides of what's happening with Barry and blood work like this shot right here Grant looks like he's freaking killing it he is completely absorbed into the character and sort of the pain that he's feeling obviously this is the excess symbol so I do definitely think this is Nora and blood works you know manipulating him in his own way then we move on to the next shot is outside 
We got Barry as the Flash. He's taking his glove off. I'm not sure what to do. But as we head towards the end of the trailer, we've got what looks like Nora. I don't know, it kind of does via the hair, but I could be wrong about that. She, or whoever it is, is actually drawing a flash mask around Barry's face. So actually, this could be Allegra when I'm thinking about it. You know, there's a possibility because she found out about Barry last episode. And then we go to, I'm not sure where it is, it could be Barry's apartment. Someone is on the sofa, it looks like Iris, and Barry is looking up at someone else. I'm not sure who it specifically is. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss any videos. And I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.